pick up the, rage. The, yeah, James Cameron's breakup rage. <laughs> that, okay. J- James that. Cameron divorce talk. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're, which one? I'm so we're, confused. We're, James we're, Cameron's we're, we're divorce talking rage. All, we're talking all of James Cameron's divorces. Yes, James Cameron's divorce rage. Oh my that. god. In real life, IRL. No. Nope. <laughs> IRL. James Cameron's divorce rage, IRL. <laughs> this is happening right now. Write me well, out. We'll just we'll I'm re- picturing we'll the reenacted. You be let's see, who's who's the best James Cameron? Probably Patrick. <laughs> you be James Cameron. And then Can I be you either be Patty Jenkins or Lynn Hamilton and I'll take whoever's left. <laughs> I kinda wanted to be uh Do you Titanic. wanna be James Cameron? I kinda wanna be Titanic. I'm picturing the title card of Sunny in Philadelphia that says the gang accuses James Cameron, Cameron of, of wife beating. <laughs> 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 that's how that's how Redbeard Live needs to start now with yeah. like with like one of those placards <laughs> where they're like, <laughs> like their own theme song. It's like that's impossible. No one can kill a Jedi. <laughs> the gang <laughs> like, kills Anna a Jedi. Kill, kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good way to start, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, are we on? Oh, we are on. Like, oh, so wait, we're on like Donkey Kong. Well, like, they, right. they, it's we're, it's we're, fitting because we're, we're talking about the, the James Cameron we're talking about we're, yeah we're talking yeah. we're talking with like the whole point of like the beginning of the episode is that James Cameron uh, like, can make an avatar. He can have some blue alien sex, but doesn't know how to hold a relationship. Ooh, ouch! Ooh, ouch. Ooh, ouch. Sorry, hot sorry. Take. Hot I'm take sorry. Coming like, in if, hot. If James Cameron sees this, that's my bad. That was shame to let this hot. go live from. You know, now that you put man. it that way, that man's an utter failure. <laughs> is that another cow joke? <laughs> what? I mean, like, is that another cow joke? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> th- thanks for. Th- <laughs> <laughs> Shape. Shape on that one. Oh, that was outstanding. Shame. Oh. Shame is really. This is what happens when Shane doesn't drink. He's real fast with the jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right, inside oh. joke. Oh. oh, man, because oh, it's funny because it's an inside joke. Because, so like, funny. Patrick, before we went live, Patrick made a cow joke. That is. I, made, I <laughs> botched a, a cow yeah, joke. A he bot- joke. This shit went over like a <laughs> morning flight on 9 11. It was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> and, then, and then Shane came in with the zingers, though, man. He had it. Zing. Fucking crazy. Oh. Shane. So good. Oh, my face hurts from laughing. Man, it's real good. Man, we were a good round, round of applause for Shane. Round of applause for Shane. We were about James Cameron's divorce, and then it was yeah, we start. We start. We start with James Cameron. We're getting real. Shane, and then Shane comes back with the like, is that a couch? Shane took it in the couch. <laughs> this guy, oh, I'm really, oh, really? Yeah. Wait, oh no, but like, but like, like oh, let's let's start hurts. out with that. Okay, so that's the name of the episode. We're talking about James Cameron. I I am all things a fan of James Cameron. I don't give a shit, man. Like 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 Avatar. Not not the anime Avatar, but James Cameron's Avatar. It's one of my favorite movies, dude. Yeah, it's good. I don't think I've had a movie resonate with me like that since like Jurassic Park, and that's saying a lot. None of the other Jurassic Parks post that movie resonated with me. I was like, this movie's fucking great. Like, I want to go to Pandora, so like Disney opened a park, and I want to go there. I love James Cameron's Avatar. I can watch it like right now at eleven. I'm like fucking blue alien sex, fucking rock on. That's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> like they're all like they're like here's my ponytail, whatever. Let me squirt it in your face. Yeah. Here you go. Here's my ponytail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's my tail. I don't give a shit, man. That's awesome. It's like a lot of people are like oh it's like dances with wolves or this but aliens and I'm like shut up. All stories and have been told. It's before. Fern Gully with machine guns and it's fucking oh, awesome. Yeah. Wow. awesome. That's actually a good comparison. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll give you that, that one. Like that. Yeah, dude. Who else is excited for James Cameron's Avatar 2? Oh, fuck yeah. Raise dude. your hands. Raise your hands. But James Cameron's sure, a god of cinema. He's so good. But what the news was is that Kate Winslet today is signed on for like at least the second Avatar movie. Right, which for Ava- yeah, for I sure mean, like, too. like it's kind of one of those things where like you would feel like that would be like I guess it's I guess it's news because they had a bad like like well, falling Grant, out it was after like tw- Titanic. It was like right? twenty years ago when Titanic was. They call, they call her Kate Wines a lot all the time. Wines a lot. Because she complained that it was cold. And, he and James Cameron's is like, James Cameron's all dry it, in a sweater. And, I mean, and he's like filming in there underwater. He's like, why well, are you complaining about the ice cold water? Draw me like one of your French navi. <laughs> 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 there's, just, there's just appropriate hair braids yeah. dropped over their nether regions. Oh my God. <laughs> I really don't know why well I threw done. a Hannibal Lecter voice on that. <laughs> well done. Because <laughs> I fit perfectly. Kate, Kate Winslet is the Hannibal of the yeah. of, of, of Pandora. Yeah, exactly. Rami, like one of your fancy yeah. Navi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's dating some rich Navi who she's unhappy with because it's Billy Zane. Who could be happy with Billy Zane? It's got to be Billy Zane, the Phantom. Poor uh, Bill, poor dude, Billy if, Zane. I, if I get to see a blue dude hit a propeller going 140 miles an hour down ship, 
I am I am bored. That is that is your goal for Avatar. Yeah, Avatar no. That's it. Avatar. Avatar yeah. The, uh, you want you want to see Titanic. some like hardcore Avatar death? No, 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 no. Everybody in that theater when I saw Titanic laughed their fucking tits off when that dude <laughs> fell and hit that propeller. It was fucking amazing, and I want to see it again. I want updated <laughs> graphics, and I want him blue and naked. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, okay. Blue, blue and blue. naked. Escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, look, but James well, Cameron, so James Cameron's <laughs> a lot of the pipe man, so like, you know, you know what else is going on. Like, so uh, like He's written the script treatment for the new Terminator, which is supposed to be a sequel to Judgment Day. Jesus we've, Christ. We've heard this a bunch of times before. Tim Miller, who, uh, who, who, he was the, uh, founded Blur Studios down in Austin, and he, uh, he directed, uh, Deadpool. Hold on, really? Yeah. Like, he started Blur Studios, yeah. like the people that do all the animations yep. for like, Halo, Halo two, fucking everything. Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. Yeah. Like, from now, no, like he is a special effects visual artist. I mean, that's that's what he came from. And I think there's nobody better to direct the Terminator than somebody that has an appreciation for good art. Uh, I can't remember the name of that guy. Oh, fucking Stan Winston. Yeah, he was pretty big in in, in Terminator and, and doing those kind of things. And I think Tim Miller's a a, a digital counterpart and protege to that. Well, the, the, I mean, they, I, I would agree with that. I mean, like I I, I played. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which which a lot of people didn't like, because a lot of people love Call of Duty for the multiplayer. I loved Infinite. I thought Warfare. the I thought the campaign for Infinite Warfare it was it was everything I wanted. They could have just rebranded as like Call of Duty Battlestar Galactica. It was good, and I would I would have signed up, man. It's old. It, that's what it was. It dude. really is, man. It was, dude. It was that the ship was like it, the it uniforms was like, are the same. It was like it was yeah, dude. It was an aircraft carrier in space, and like your spaceships were like like spacey. Your battle air, Cylons. Yeah, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> I was bitching. They were spacey. I was, I was, I was, I was, so was, spa- I was still struggling for a word. I, I was like, spaced out when I played the game the whole time. It was great. Mr. Spacey was the boss in the Jetsons. That's my contribution. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Spacey. <laughs> what was the name of the oh, Martian? Oh, that's right. oh, shit. Oh no no he he wasn't yeah, Jetson he, was, he wasn't he a Jetson no no he no he 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 showed up in the he showed up in the Jetsons he came from the Jetsons era and he went back in time. To visit the Flintstones uh, because he was a crossover Easter egg, uh, bro. Oh, they mixed franchises that Hanna Barbera. Okay, I'm aware okay, of this. Okay, you, you want to do do some dancing real quick? <laughs> Let's do dance. You, do you know Let's why dance. Marvin the Martian is dressed like a Roman Roman centurion? Because he's from Mars and Mars is the god of war for the Romans. Wow. Yep. That's, okay. That's yep. Really? Yep. Wait, are they both? What? Wait. So Jetsons has the green one. What's the the one where, like on Looney Tunes or whatever? Is it the same one? They're different because the the on Looney Tunes you don't see his face; it's just black, black with, with two eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah. Is it still Marvin the Martian though? Maybe yeah. that was Marvin the Martian. Yeah, they're the, different. The, the Hanna Barbera one is the Jets and Flintstone ones, like green, little green guy. Like, like, yeah, yeah, sure. Got the antennas. Yeah, All right, one. someone in the chat, tell us. Are we paying attention to the chat? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, chat. Someone. Well, the chat brings up Abyss is a favorite. James Cameron movie. I mean, all James Cameron movies. Which still isn't on Blu-ray. I want to repeat that for everybody listening. Abyss is not on Blu-ray. Neither is True Lies. That's weird. So Abyss. So the Abyss, Slam dunk. Slam dunk. It's an abyssal thing. Show yourself out. (laughs) (laughs) James James is like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Shane shaped hole in the wall. Yeah. The, oh, the Abyss, God. there was a Laserdisc version of laser the Abyss. Disc? Ooh. Laserdisc, oh. right? And it was like the director's cut. Yeah. Like, what is a Laserdisc? So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A Laserdisc is, so, imagine, It's a record-sized movie. <laughs> right. It's, it's a, record, a DVD record the size, 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 size of a record. DVD. You don't, you haven't seen one? <laughs> no. I have, I have, I have Jurassic Park on Laserdisc. So it's like a, like it's a vinyl? No, 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 it's not a vinyl. It's, it's a plastic it's, CD. It's a giant, it's the same size as a vinyl, but like, you don't know what a laser disc but why? is. Why? I what love that? because it, it was a 1993 technology. I mean, before, before yeah. DVDs. It was, it was before DVDs. Oh, it was before DVDs. It was DVDs so. because they were trying to get a, like they were trying to get like DVD and digital technology, movies and digital technology. But at the time, what digital technology on? on like a giant laser disc player. It's a fucking giant <laughs> record player type of thing. But it's a laser that reads this giant disc. You used to turn it over, man. We're talking about an era yeah, where people wore over. sunglasses shaped like lightning bolts. You're trying hold to on, apply logic to. Hold on, Shane. What, what year were you born? Ninety. When you were three, yeah. there some rich asshole somewhere were watching like laser discs. Oh yeah. my god, like, this is so badass. This is right. gonna get my yeah, giant that, disc out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Over. So, yeah. so, any, so anyway, there's there's a laser disc version of it, it's a director's cut. Okay. And then years later, they put it on a DVD. It's a double DVD set. 
and I had to track it down. I worked at Borders at the time, and I had to special order it to get it because I wanted to see this fucking laser dick. Laser dick. Laser dick. Laser dick. <laughs> like, like, I mean, like, who doesn't want to see a laser disc dick? version of it to get to it. So you had to buy the, the, the two set, right? Yeah. But yeah, why is there no Blu-ray? It's, a, it's a crime. I don't understand why there's not a Blu-ray of, like, every I, James Cameron movie. I, I think that James Cameron wants control and mastery because when you upscale something in, in that you're, you're going to have some color differences and that kind of thing um, so having that kind of absolute control uh, Panic Room is also not on Blu-ray for Fincher it pisses me off collection's not complete um, <laughs> yeah no 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 pisses, pisses, pisses me off uh, the with with uh, with Abyss uh, I think James Cameron's too busy like spelunking in the bottom of the Mariana's Trench or what the fuck ever uh, you're gonna get a bunch of money. I'm gonna go look at some bones at the yeah. bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna solve climate change. Like, no, no, no. Patrick wants his Blu-ray. He's like, he's like I'm just gonna hang out with my laser dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Rick and Morty laser dick. Yeah. yeah. Ow. No, never mind. That was one of those toys. That wasn't a lightsaber. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, moral of the story is we need all James Cameron and David Fincher. All James Cameron. Like, I mean, like, uh, he, he go, dude, Blu-ray. it goes without saying. Like, can you? Have, have you seen Abyss before, Shane? Maybe. No. Like it's, it's, there's water and it it's does weird good. things. It's at like, the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, Photo- no, I have. Photoshop was invented ago, yeah. to make that movie actually. Really? Yep. Okay. It's about the alien creature in the water. In the water, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's to, like to the point I where like the, they uh, like, yeah. like one of the alien creatures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the grundle. And the grundle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this looks a lot like an uncomfortable doctor's office. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Welcome to the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Turn your head and cough. The camera's in the corner. Like, don't please, please, please aim your laser dick somewhere else, sir. Yeah. Is that what you use to fight the like monster? Man, like, yeah. we need a we need a t-shirt line because anytime we just have a Freudian slip, we'll a great like 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 like, laser dude, dick. like like I really want to see that movie on laser dick. <laughs> laser on laser dick. Yeah. You collect laser dicks? Oh, I mean, like I, I have as many as I can. I've got a I mean, like, shelf full <laughs> laser dicks. <laughs> shelf full. Laser They're right next to my LDs. Yeah. The D is for deep dicking. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right next to your movies on HD. Uh, hard, like, hard dick, hard dick, and yeah, hard dick I mean, like you, you remember, you remember like a hard dick drive. That's what HD yeah, stands that's, for. That's, that's why Microsoft did that instead of Blu-ray. Yeah, they want because the hard like, dick drive. <laughs> This is the podcast because, equivalent because... of the fucking meteor that killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> this is another great T-shirt idea. <laughs> Fun story. Fun story. For if we're gonna talk dinosaurs, and, do we do we know do we know where do does anybody else in the room other than me <laughs> know, know where the meteorite site is? That killed the dinosaurs. I that has been I, that has been proven to like about a ninety five percent certainty. It's like Utah is or something random. Nope. No, no, I thought it was off the coast of. Uh, it's out in the drink off the coast of Panama. I thought drink. it is in Mexico. It's a Yucatan, okay, giant peninsula. Thing. Did it did it hit land or liquid? Oh, it hit it land at the time. Oh, but okay. it's like this giant underwater thing. So it's like you know how Mexico curves. Um, it's the, like right there. Uh, but like part of it, part of it is part of it is land. But yeah, down like where it's better. Of, always it's better <laughs> waiting for, for me. I have got one other person. If you don't finish the song with me, guys, I'm gonna kill myself. What they do up on the land? What they do up on the land? We got the hot crustacean, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, I'll saying? wait. <laughs> 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 like I'll, I'll play this. Out. I'll play this out. It's fine. So, he, so here's another good point in in the chat we talked about earlier. Linda Hamilton is signed, which is a, is another James Cameron ex-wife. Yeah. So which is which is the point of the like, name of the episode is like is that Linda Hamilton's coming back again with Hanson Patrick in the room. Huge Terminator fan. Uh, you were the one that told me about this, and I was like, okay, yeah. that sounds good. I yeah. didn't know that like Linda Hamilton had was even married to James Cameron. Yep. Uh, I think they married uh, during the filming of Terminator or shortly after, or ter- two. Um, it seems like a weird kind of Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I think it was uh, the second one, right? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I'm leaning heavily on that, but I'm not 100%. It yeah. seems like a kind of a Carrie Fisher, George Lucas kind of scenario, right? Because like uh, they were married for a bit, or they had a relationship for a stint, yeah. George I thought Lucas she was and Carrie Fisher had yeah. a sexual relationship. Thought, they absolutely did. Yeah, I thought she was balling Harrison Ford. Oh no, no, yeah, no, 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 was... no! Like no, it, that, from what I understand, in the beginning there was like absolutely something happening with wow. Carrie Fisher and and George Lucas. Way to go, George Lucas! I mean, like if you look back at him, like he was kind of nerdy, but he doesn't look like George Lucas now. True, <laughs> true, he was. Attractive for 1970s George Lucas. Yeah, I mean, like 1970s, anyone would look, yeah. look attractive. I mean, well, yeah, like him and Spielberg when they're on the, the set of Jaws when they're in the little like the like 70s hanging out. Shorts. Are you sure oh, they were oh, dating? Yeah, the and he just shorts. didn't have like a solid line on Coke or something. It could have been. It could have <laughs> been that. I mean, he <laughs> yeah. says it jokingly, but that could have totally yeah. been it. I mean, no, no, no. He's like, hey, Same. man, like, I'd... yep, yep. 
little booger sugar in the Millennium <laughs> Falcon? <laughs> Someone has done a line in the Millennium Falcon. I have just realized oh. this right now. Oh, uh, dude, I, I hope to God someone did it and just bounced their head back up. And they're like, <laughs> 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 Oh, yes. That would be the best. Yes. That's so good. Uh, That's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, him and Lamb, yeah, they're divorced now, of course. Ago, but, like, like, like but 10 that, years ago, but right? But even, even, yeah, even though James Cameron is not directing it, he's, uh, the he's director. Written, he's written this, uh, the, the screenplay treatment. It's not the full script. It's the scriptment, which is just kind of, like, a very this basic is the, This is the direction that I want to go. Yes. And then he brought in the guy that did Daredevil. Or, no, Deadpool. Deadpool. Correct. Uh, uh, d- Deadpool's directing. I don't know who's actually writing writing the screenplay off the top of my head. So there's going to be someone, but at yep. the same, but, but at the time, James Cameron is going to be. So, but James Cameron no longer owns the Terminator franchise. Uh, he, yes, he does. The he rights, sold re- that off. the it rights have reverted back. It to reverted him. back to him. That yeah. makes sense because I know they did the, they did like uh, what? Well, it's three, the same. Three, four, five, and six without. Yeah, him. yeah. And what and movies? It, I can't remember. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yes. Yeah, but that's, so here, that's the approach they're taking. Here's a, here's a good point, which will will spin us out of the James Cameron world, sort of, but. So they're going to make another Terminator movie that's going to take place after Terminator 2. That So the other th- right. three or four don't take don't uh, place. I haven't heard word definite on Salvation. I've only heard that Genesis and 3 are going to be ignored. <laughs> so they're doing the same thing with <laughs> the Halloween movie that's coming out that's just been announced with Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis, Curtis and John Carpenter coming back to where this is going to take place after Halloween 2. So they're going to erase everything. Six movies after that, to where they're gonna act like yeah that didn't take place. So you're splitting the universes almost. And and Chucky does the same thing. And Child's Play started that, where they're splintering off the universe, so they ignore two or three movies and then start back from here. So is it sort of like a hard reboot, a soft reboot? Sort of. I like can't. Defend you know what? You know, like scene? as far as far as it comes with the Terminator, in my opinion, they can kind of do whatever they want because it all based on time travel. Right. Yeah. So like the other the other movies could or couldn't happen and like it'd be so easy to write into the canon that it did you're just like oh well like this this splinter of time made this event happen and then this didn't I mean, that makes sense right? for that movie series, yeah the like, movies, how all can... these other movies do the same thing they're just like ah, just forget that ever happened and it's like that's well, like well, what yeah. are franchises you're talking about because a lot of them do it i mean they were they were going to do it with alien but yeah. you know they were they were basically going to like when neil bond blonde camp was going to do Alien 5. He was basically going to be like, well, cool, this is a sequel to Aliens. Yeah. Ironically, a James Cameron movie, he was going to do the same thing. And now James Cameron is doing the same thing yeah. to his own movie. Well, it's also, I mean, even like Alien vs. Predator, where they're just like, we're over here somewhere. You know, yeah. it's in the same yeah. universe, but like, there's I think no that's time. fairly cheap and half-assed. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. It's like, I hate, yeah. I like why, not, why not come up with something unique? Well, that, that, was a weird, like, that was a weird <laughs> thing with the Alien vs. Predator movies, too, at the time, because they were just appealing to, like, the 90s sensibilities, because yeah. when those came out, like, everyone God loved smack those. on the soundtrack. Yeah, the, yeah like, sla- like, modern slasher fix was, well, like, the was thing. The, it was based off the Dark Horse comics. They were separate. Then, yeah, yeah though, loosely. Right? I mean, the Dark right, well, Horse loosely, comics were they, so good. Yeah, they started that exactly. way, and then they started a toy line off of it too. But uh, it was you could argue you could you could argue it was all based off of Predator Two, which was wrong because in Predator Two you, you have this alien like skull. you have this alien skull, yeah, the which would no, which, which just doesn't really exist because the Xenomorph has like an internal, but and it's an exo like an exoskeleton. Also, the Kenner toy line that you're talking about. Uh, it wasn't based off of any of the movies or comic books. It was based off of a canceled cartoon show that was supposed to be on Saturday mornings. A cartoon show. Was, of it, I, I believe it was. I believe it was called Alien Infestation. Oh god, yeah. nice. And they wow. canceled it. Like they had a pilot filmed and, and 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 drawn and everything. They canceled it and they had toys like already ordered from from China and they're like, you know, fuck it, let's do it. You know, I mean, two cartoon make, shows I want to see made into a movie. What? Biker Mice from Mars and Street Sharks. Ooh, Street Sharks! Yeah. You, my boy. Nice. Okay, can I add, can I add a third? Yeah. Can I add a third? And I don't know why this hasn't been made. Like this has been my theory for years, and then you've seen there's been fake like editing versions of this, but yeah. like fucking Thundercats, man. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Where's my Thundercats yeah. movie? Yeah, oh. that'd be the easiest thing to make. Yep. Yeah. Like it's it's, it's just, dude. They don't have to be CG. They can just be like really good prosthetics. Yeah, exactly. I mean like like they, they would have to use like minimal CG as yeah. far as like like you know Chitara like for running fast. Yeah. But you know they have that down. Oh yeah, totally. The yeah. technology to make people look like they're running fast has been. Uh, the in five the show that was on after that is actually getting a film treatment. He-Man is uh, uh, is apparently in the works somewhere. You know, there there was a He-Man movie. Yes, yeah, Dolph was... Lundgren, man, and that shit was yeah. good. Mass of the Universe. Wait, yep. there another... No, that was Hercules. Lundgren, Lundgren. Yeah. They made like 18 million Hercules movies. Hey, man, Dolph Lundgren is also so Star far of the power. So far, he is he is also the very best Punisher on screen. Disagree. Really? 
I will not. I will fight you to the within so, uh, within within two minutes of that movie. He kills someone with piano wire from a ceiling within two minutes of the movie. And then like it also it also was the beginning of like what is it was it was it a Slayer song? Like this is crime. This is punishment. Oh, Where yeah, he's sitting naked in the he's sewer. Naked in the sewer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's like at the beginning of like a yeah. like a Slayer song. And he's got the, uh, the 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 knives that have the little skull on top. Is that the nineties sensibilities coming out. Oh, dude, you haven't seen the nineties Punisher? Oh, yeah. It's the best. It's OG man. Oh man. Yeah, Luke oh, Gossett Jr. is in it too. So, so you prefer Dolph Lundgren over Thomas Jane and Ray Stevenson? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Why are we not talking about John Bernthal right now? Because that's, he's, he's not he's not a TV. cinematic he's movie version. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Punisher. Okay, now he's we're we we can we can, we can we can get to his silly haircut in a minute, Pat. Oh, I know God that's the direction you want to go. He sent me this image, and <laughs> he was like, like, he was like, look at John Bernthal's haircut in this show because it's all he looks like Simple Jack from Simple Jack from Yeah, yeah, dude. No, hold on, hold on. My family dead. And it makes Patrick. my eyes rain. You never you know. I texted Patrick back and I said it to me for me one time. Yeah. I, text, I texted Patrick back and I was like, you never go full castle. It's <laughs> oh, horrible. No. That movie's underrated. Never be Tro- unseen. Tropic Thunder and underrated. <laughs> uh, dude, I have a look, look, look. So. All right. Yeah, that's his. Well, that's the haircut. Yeah. That's the haircut yeah. of a man that's family was murdered in front of him. That's the haircut and of a man that eats yeah. a lot of fucking Elmer's glue. Yeah. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he I shit, swear man. to God, if I watch this fucking Punisher and I think of Simple Jack, I'll be so pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'll be so pissed. <laughs> Send me the bill for Netflix that month, I'll man. Be so <laughs> like, I'll, oh, I'll man. cover your <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simple yeah. Jack. I'm sorry I ruined yeah. that entertainment yeah. for you. Here's your seven dollars <laughs> back. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> Simple Jack. But no, but the Punisher looks so great. But let's get back to James Cameron. Who okay, else is it? Like, fa- I mean, favorite like, James Cameron movie, not Avatar, because I know that's Not true. Avatar? Oh, Titanic. Not, Piranha not Avatar. 2, The Spawning. <laughs> that was his first movie. <laughs> you, can't, you can't randomly pull that out of your ass. It's uh, I'm, I'm Aliens, man. Aliens was formative to me as a child. Uh, I'd say Titanic because I got in trouble the first time I watched it. Let's hear the story. Let's yeah, yeah, hear the story. Yeah. Come on, Shane. This is going to age Kate me. Wines Let's go. Is, is Let's go. How old you were? You were you I were... was like, when did it come out? What year was that? Uh, 1993? Yeah, so when I first watched it, I was like seven or eight. Did you have eight? one of those little like propeller hats and like a giant lollipop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Fucking A, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 so, apparently... Shane's just rolling around town. Like, <laughs> yeah. Get a little spin my head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, so we were. I uh, was watching it um, with a bunch of other uh, kids because I was in a group home, and so I guess that uh, my mom didn't know, or my foster mom at the time didn't know that there was like nudity in it. So like, well, it was PG thirteen. Who would have known? Yeah, my parents took me to see, and I was like, "Ooh, that was formative for me." Yeah, because that was the first time having a wrecking in front of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> right up so, top, so like, up top. Don't you peek? Don't you peek yeah, some bush in that? No, like she, yeah, she yeah. yeah. Her, she, he's like painting her, and like there's like full blown like one of his French girls, French yeah. Navi, yeah. 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 And so I was like, T- oh my Titanic god, there's boobs. And yeah, so I got grounded. So 1997, yeah. knock on the sky. Okay, Samsonite. Yeah, I was yeah, way off. Awesome. Four years. Where? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, uh, that was about right. Yeah, it was like seven or eight. When he I watched really it, so. should do a sequel to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just him in the like, <laughs> in a boat. Being I, like I, I found him. I want it to be t- Titanic two, and it's about the fucking Queen Mary getting sunk. The thing, thing that I was so if I had to pick a, a hard time pick a favorite, I'd probably pick Abyss because the movie has action in it and it's super emotional. I, well, you've yeah, seen it. You I've seen know. it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, Shane, you may or may not watch it, but no, I've seen, I just don't remember. All so of it, it deals with a husband and an ex-wife, and they're you know they go through a bunch of shit. And yeah, he thinks she's dead, and he's like screaming at her. Like you that. Know, that like, scene was so like, well done. That scene is so just fucking grabs you, and he's like yeah. just pound and pound on her chest. He's like. You know, you've always been a bitch. This whole thing is she's like this insufferable bitch. And it's like, you've been a bitch and you're going to fight this. And she's like pounding and screaming. And brings yeah, man. Strong like, women. I mean, it, 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 he, he's James always Cameron been that. Yeah. Is, yeah. The strong woman. It really gets you that. But like the first one I ever saw was Aliens. And then, of course, then Terminator after that. Yep. And then then Terminator 2 came out and it changed the world because oh, dude. those effects didn't happen. Nobody did yeah. that shit. Yeah. yeah. Then. Well, and it, it's kind of it's kind of so weird, too, that like. He's he has kind of been the the person who has really propelled both of those franchises into being recognized for what they are, you know. Because when you look at it, James Cameron, when you think about Alien, the franchise Alien, Aliens is arguably 
a much better movie than Alien for the time. Now the time has passed. You can kind of look at it from a cinematic standpoint and be like, okay, cool, yeah. Ridley Scott, Alien is good. We've talked a lot about, like, Alien Resurrection, and we've talked a lot about Prometheus. Patrick and I went back and watched Alien Res or uh, Alien Covenant. Covenant. Sorry, Alien Covenant again after we talked about it on the show. And I was able to, like, really enjoy it a lot more from just a cinematic standpoint. But the problem is, is, like, it's not what you think it is. And that's what Ridley Scott does. But regardless, James Cameron co has come in to two major franchises and been like, I will propel this and make this way better to the point where people still, uh, buy, still buy tickets to sequels, yeah. hoping uh, that they'll be as good as his. Yeah. Terminator was his franchise. That was his first, like... Well, Terminator yeah. 1? Yeah. Yeah. That was his. Uh, but he didn't direct Terminator 1. Yeah, he did. He did? Yep. Well, Terminator 2 is way better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, they gave him like $140 more dollars. I mean, it's just... The first Terminator was one of his early movies in really Arnold Schwarzenegger's first big starring role. Yep. Like it was, Arnold Schwarzenegger said many times in speeches that if it wasn't for James Cameron... He'd still be yodeling in the Alps yep. somewhere, yeah. like like they wouldn't discover it because they did Hercules in New York with him, but they didn't even use his voice. They I think he had, I think plot. he had filmed Conan one before that, and then it was Terminator. I mean, right. what, what, about, uh, what about what? True Lies? True Lies was True way later. later. Yeah, yeah, way later. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, True Lies like, is really the, good too. Though, yeah. J.B. Lee Curtis. Yeah. yeah. Also, oh, not, not so. Knock on the Sky says like, like I'm assuming we're talking about Titanic. They had their 13 on a double date, and tried to hide the fact that like they were crying at the end of the date. And, uh, yeah, no, like, dude, like, I was, like, I was affected by that movie because I was, like, that was, well, I mean, well, not only that, but it's, like, without getting too much into politics, too much into current events, but, like, we have current events that have happened that are just fucking horrific and terrible. But when I was young and you watched, like, Titanic, it was, like, it made that shit real. Like, it's, like, yeah. fucking people, like, have died. Screaming and climbing like, over each other. And shit. Yeah. Those yeah. old people are laying in the bed together and they're just, like, fucking, oh, fucking, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That really, I mean, yeah. that really gets you. Yeah. And then it's like they're on the they're on the top and they're like, well, we're gonna die. Let's just fucking play. And they're just playing the yeah. instruments. Anyway. Like, and we're the, playing the, music. The, and it's, it's like, been an honor playing with you, gentlemen. Yeah. Right. It's like, there's something there's something to be said about James Cameron and his and his direction for like story to be like this is what I want to tell. Like this is the angle I want to take it. Like sure, like it's a story about a boat and sinking. Everyone knows that. Right. And the same thing could be said for Avatar. It's like sure, this is a story about everyone, but like I'm gonna take this dude who's like ex-military has basically lost his like will until he gets his ability back and his view has totally changed on the world and like, i thought it was a really fucking great social commentary well if you yeah. think about the the magic of what titanic is right we already know what happens the boat sinks yeah but we sit there for three hours yeah. and it doesn't feel like three hours i watched it again the other day right and it, titanic it, is a short movie compared to like modern standards of like any lord of the rings right because it just it just goes by any movie I didn't realize it was three hours, honestly. Yeah, it's, yeah. Right. It was like, at the time, at the time it was three. Yeah. You can make a three-hour yeah, movie. Yeah, the double cassette. I remember right, that. The double cassette, <laughs> yeah. right? You make a three-hour movie and it's paced well, it doesn't feel like three hours. You can make a 90-minute movie that's paced like shit, yeah. and it feels like you've been there Drag for two days. Forever. Like Suicide like, Squad. Is yeah. <laughs> what is this, some kind of Suicide, suicide squad, squad movie? Yep. Oh, like, no, one of, the, one of the things, too, that was interesting about Titanic is I worked at a movie theater not – Always Shortly after, but like after a long time, like everything now, you go see a movie and it's in like HD and it's digital and they're running Stadium, with stadium seats, seats, seats. They're using they're using you know Texas Instrument technology to like project the best image that they can, which you know I get it, man. Like that's where we're at. But I'm so glad I got to work with film, even though I never film film stuff. I got to work with film, yeah. and from what I understand, like I, we had a lot of long movies, um, but Titanic would fill the entire platter. And what I mean by that is movies on film. And I don't know if you guys how much you know about this, but I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go down the story. Oh, yeah. It's my yeah, show. I don't give a shit. They're, they're, so, they're, they're separate projectors. Like they're, they, no, 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 sir. There's not. So what happens is, is they bring them in like like modern day movie theaters. Back in the day, yeah, they would swap swap right. to different projectors. Yeah. Modern day movie theaters, what they do is when you buy a film, like they're a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars because you have to pay for them and you own them, right? So you have to make the money back. On like on ticket sales and stuff. That's that's how movie theaters work. They buy the movie in full for however many theaters it's going to be in, and then it's their job to like buy it back. So it's kind of like selling a video game or kind of like selling a movie. Yeah. Like the movie theater has sold X amount of copies, and then the movie theater though reports back and they're like, "This is how many tickets we sold." Yeah. But with film, they would literally bring like reels in these metal canisters that yeah. would like come with a handle, and you would get a quarter of a movie about like 
30 to 45 minutes at a time. Were they heavy as shit? Really heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. even just these things. And what Shit's you would do super is... super flammable, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Super flammable. What you would, yeah, what you would do is you would, like, you would spool them together. And uh, the towers that we would use at the movie theater that I worked when I worked projection is we would have three towers. So you could run two movies at a time. Because you need one movie to run to another, to another yeah. like, tower, to another platter. So you can have two at a time as long as there's one empty one, right? So when the one is, like, streaming out of the center... It's re-spooling somewhere else on the center, and it works in magnets. And so you, you thread the movie through, and so like it's just like Fight Club. When, like, when you bring them in little pieces, you splice them, you, you edit them together, you tape them together, and you edit them together, and then you put it on the platter. So it's like it's one cohesive Seamless. thing. Yep. So like you see like the whole cigarette marks, and like mm-hmm. it goes boop. Yep. That's a real thing when it comes oh, yeah. to film. Um, but what's really neat, too, that they don't, they don't really touch on in Fight Club is that the soundtrack like is literally part of the film, and it runs down the side. Yep. And the projector just reads that shit. That's why it goes... Yeah. yeah, well, that's what happens. Oh, shit, I never made that connection. Yep. Nice. Yeah, because yeah, because you're wrapping up the movie, and it's yep. starting. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so it runs through this projector, and so everything has to be free of dust and stuff like that. But if something gets caught or it stops, it brain wraps, which, again, you see in Fight Club. Like, Fight Club really embraced the whole idea of, like, Movie. So I had a couple of movies brain wrap on you, and like what happens if it, if it stops in front of that in front of that light bulb yeah. for a second, it'll it'll burn through the yeah. like the, the film because super like it's 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 a crazy thing, but these platters are massive. They're about five foot wide, and Titanic like when it first came out like pushed all the, the way edge up to those. the lip. So like movie theater companies and people who would make these like equipment, they had to start making bigger and bigger platters yeah, like, so they could like so they could hold these movies that would push up to three hours because before that. Movies weren't three hours long, yeah. and so you would have to do that. I remember one time when I worked at this movie theater, uh, the movie um, Deep Blue Sea got oh, soda man. spilt on it from one of the other projectionists. Oh shit! And all that matters when it comes to film is you just if you run it through the head, which is the projection, as it'll long as you run it through it, it'll it's good. Yep. It'll it'll rewrap. It'll it'll be good. It'll be static free, and it'll play. Well, movies are about three miles long yeah, in yeah, film, yeah. and so we unraveled this whole movie. We rewrapped it took like six hours but we saved the movie theater that i worked for about five grand because that's how nice. much movies cost nice. yeah, damn. and it was crazy did man did you get fired <laughs> like, yeah no I, I didn't get fired i just <laughs> hung out i got no, paid no, the guy that like spilled the no yeah, no one like no one picked on that guy oh, nice. yeah. You're like fuck <laughs> but it was crazy man like but like that's how big like titanic was it would like get to the end of the platter like that's i've cool. seen a couple of pictures of, like these things would be so tightly wound like you could stand if you took one off the platter you could stand one up let's go uh, like first. all in one did Avatar wow. bump Titanic from most profitable film? Absolutely, because it is yep. the most profitable film of all time. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I I was confused. I, don't, I know that they're they're both you know one and two, but I, I mean like they, they also when it comes to that stuff, you also have to take into consideration inflation yeah. Yeah. and like how much movies are now. But yeah, even considering inflation, Avatar is the most successful movie of all well, time. You, if you put inflation gone with the win is most successful movie ever. Correct. But sure. if you go with just the straight dollar amount, even um, so. Star Wars, so when Phantom Menace came out, everyone was like, this is the one that's going to push yeah. Titanic out. And it didn't. So Titanic held it, right? And then it was like, well, what's ever going to beat Titanic? And who beats it? Is it had like a 55-week theatrical run yeah. or something ridiculous. And so this right. is how big Titanic was when it came out, that it made Leonardo DiCaprio such a star that his Three Musketeers movie that was pretty shitty but came out the week after Titanic, so many people wanted to see more Leonardo DiCaprio that that – by three, proxy, it by became proxy, successful. That Three Musketeers movie became successful. So Titanic was having like $50 million weekends, and the Three Musketeers was having like a $45 million weekend. I didn't wow. realize he was in a Three Musketeers. I remember yeah, Man right. in the Iron Mask. Just because Leonardo Was it Man in the Iron right. Mask? Maybe it's Iron Mask, because that's Three Musketeers. I think it was Iron Mask. Yeah. I don't think it was okay. Three Because Three Musketeers was Disney. Oliver Platt, Sean, uh, yeah, it's Chris, man, yeah, it's Man with Iron Mask, but it is the Three Musketeers are in... Man Iron Mask, right? Because he's the one that's dude. It's been so long yeah, since I've seen that. Yeah, movie. there was like yeah. some weird crossover. I don't know if anybody's yeah. watching on but the chat. You can tell but us. that was the one where it was such a big deal through yeah. there. And then originally, James Cameron wanted to do Spider Man so badly, and at the time the rights were splinted between like fifteen different people. But yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> was Spider Man in James Cameron's yep movie. Wait, what? And then he got they couldn't figure out the rights, and he's like, "Well, fuck it, I'll just make Titanic instead." He wrote a really weird so, script. I've right, read so, it, man. Yeah. So Leonardo DiCaprio then went to Titanic with James Cameron, Good and then James Spider-Man. Cameron made so much money off of that movie. When we were talking about earlier, he's like, "Well, fuck it, I'm just gonna do deep sea diving. Yeah. I'm gonna find the real Titanic." Then he took all the money from that and created a brand new technology. Yep. That started the Avatar movies, which then. The Resident Evil was shot that way. There's a couple other. Yep. There's a couple other shit. It's, it's, it's fairly rare. Yeah. No, it, it's got the dual 
optics on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah they shoot. And so, like, that's the thing with the next the next couple ones because we're filming with the next three, uh, two, three, and four. Man, yeah. So it's supposed to be two, three, and four. Like, like they're bringing some people back. I mean, James Cameron's going to find a way to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but he's also developing new technology technology for that. And like we were talking about this the other day, that the rumor is it's going to be. You know, glasses-free 3D, That's which which works on like a Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. But you know, how did you get you know projection to exactly. work that way? And it's gonna, it's yeah. going to be wonky, but like because the only way it works right now is rear projection, not projection from the screen. Yep. Yeah. So you know, he's going to figure it out. But if anybody can, it's going it's going to be James Cameron. And and, and I want to say it was Philips projection technology that the rumors were coming out of. And again, it could be horseshit, but that's you know. Yeah, well, I went. Uh, I went to SIGGRAPH, which is a big like technology yep. conference. So you probably yep. know about it. And like I went there a couple of years ago. And they were a ton of it was like all the three D projection without glasses, and it was pretty dope seeing that shit in real life. Like it was that pretty cool. So, so you experienced yeah. it a yeah. bit. I mean, okay. it was tiny. I mean, it was like you had you had prototype. You had to be, you had to yeah, be within a thing. Yeah. But like, do you, do you feel like that could be like? It was cool. I mean, it was yeah. I, I it was believe little, it's it was f- fuzzy. You know, I believe it is a feasible technology. Yeah. yeah. It's I mean, now but they have three D cameras like literally like like normal yeah. cameras. I mean, like because the thing is now is like he's figured it out, and they're like, well, there's a couple things we need to figure out before we release. But he was just given a check for over a billion dollars to make movies. A billion dollars. I don't think there's ever been a, like a, a movie that's ever been given that high of a budget. It, when you're well, I mean, yeah, money. I mean, basically, yeah. you think it's about money. it, it's 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 six three movies. Million, yeah, it's a six hour movie. Yeah. yeah, is what he's doing. They're like, here's a billion dollars for a six hour movie. Break it up how you want. Yeah, I wonder um, what the budget for Hobbit was. Because that had to be the Hobbit. Three. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like it seems like it seems like uh, yeah, that would be like, usually well, around like what hundred and something million. Think about yeah. the, the first first Avatar is over two billion dollars total worldwide. Gross. So. Gross. Gross. So yeah. if you give them a billion to make three of more of those, oh yeah, the I mean, return on investment you're is expected g- 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 gold. even yeah. if you do a billion a picture, which is at this point sounds ridiculous, but it's feasible. I mean, Iron Man yeah. three did a billion dollars, so Avatar two is going to do. Iron Man a billion three dollars. did a billion dollars. Yeah, wow. it did over a billion dollars. It was the like, worst it, of the Iron Man. It was right. co-produced from China, and they had yeah. oh, Chinese yeah, characters, yeah. and we it talk, blew we about up over there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because they have like it's I don't know ninety seconds of extra footage just for the Chinese yeah audience. Wow. The Chinese product placement, Chinese there. yeah yeah really? push wow. through, but yeah over a billion dollars. Like think of if you think of the the kind worldwide of market, that. right? So um, Pacific Rim was Force that Force Awakens one? holds the U.S. record for the highest total. Now it's over a billion dollars. It's, it's higher than Avatar, but if you add in the worldwide, yeah, Avatar still has it easily, right? Fast and the Furious movies in the U.S. make about three hundred million dollars. God damn! Outside it. of the U.S., seven to eight hundred million. They make a billion dollars a picture because outside of the United States, people fucking love the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, that's why we keep getting eighteen million. every every yeah. other yeah. year. We're getting two more of them because outside of the U.S., they make a shit ton. And it's of kind of funny how they've become now. Like even with the last one, they've kind of become they've they've kind of become like the motion picture like version of like Sharknado. People are like, we get that they're going to be bad, but we're going to keep spending yeah. money and watching them. Right, right. I, those money. things are pure, raw, unadulterated automotive pornography for me. Yeah. Yeah. The it's Plymouth like the... GTX in the new one is something that I think about more than my high school sweetheart. It's a fucking lot. It knows the audience. Yeah, so man. You know what your audience is in the Fast and Furious movie. Right. You're not going to see Vin Diesel try to win and Oscar. And nobody's, go- going, like and nobody's going to see Paul Walker anymore. Oh, oh, that's true. Oh, it's too soon, is it? Is it too soon? No. It's a joke. It's a joke because he burned to death and left the kid behind. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ouch! Ouch! Oh. That's a hot take. That's hot a take. hot take. Oh, it? Hot, take hot take, Patrick. Hot Sorry, Tiff, hot Tiff, you weren't just in time to hear that. So <laughs> that? Hey, Tiff. Hey, Tiff. Hey, Johnny. So, oh, man. so if we want to go off a little bit of James Cameron, if we jump back to Leonardo DiCaprio, knock on the sky, who's becoming my new favorite person tonight? Says. <laughs> Leo's best performance is Django Unchained. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, so, man. Well, I mean, like... Well, what's like, eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> oh, man. So here, here's... <laughs> hey, Audie. Here's, so here's a funny... Drink it, you, here's, Shelby. Here's a funny story about what's eating Gilbert Grape, right? So Leonardo DiCaprio was like 13, 14, somewhere right around there. So when I was married the first time, my, my first mother-in-law saw Leonardo DiCaprio movies as he was an adult, right? Like our, like, Titanic and stuff. And then watched Gil- watch What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Please tell me and she didn't think he was actually. She didn't realize it was him at first. Okay. Then after the movie was over, she rewatched the second time later on, and she called my wife at the time and was like, "You're never gonna believe this. That little retarded boy, that's Leonardo DiCaprio." And we're like, um, "Yeah." <laughs> welcome like, welcome to like ten years ago. Yeah. Her mind was blown that he was so good in that movie. 
that she didn't put the two and two together that wow. it was him. And it was kind of that thing of for years, like why doesn't he have an Oscar until he had to get basically raped yeah. by a bear to get one? Yeah, <laughs> but right. so many movies before that he should have had one. Which oh yeah, Eating Gilbert Grape should have been an Oscar. Yes, at least supporting actor. Yeah, why yeah. that one? Does anyone understand? Like, why do you guys think he never got one before? Like, I mean, he was I so think, many I think, good movies. Yeah, I think I think it was because like this, it's the stigma, man. Like, I think a lot of times, like with the the Motion Picture Association and like you know, the guild or whatever the fuck it is that, like, awards them, it's, like, they, they want to have the underdog. Yeah. And when someone is that good for so yeah. long, like, it's just kind of a, an assumed thing. Yeah, it's it's kind of like how... Like, I think it's kind of like other things that come out at the same time, too. Because, like, if you watch American History X, right, with Edward Norton, yeah. and then there's this uh, this really shitty movie with him and Ben Stiller, and they play priests. I can't remember the name of it. But if you watch American History X and then watch that shitty movie where he's a priest, like, he is such a good fucking actor. Like, why didn't he win an award for yeah. that? And so for the longest time, it drove me nuts. Why did he not win an Oscar for that? Because Tom Hanks won for Forrest Gump that year. Yeah. And it's like so many good performances. Because there's so many other great movies. Uh, yeah. 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 Other performances. Yeah, so it's like, why did it take Denzel Washington so long to win an award? Why didn't he win one for Malcolm X? Well, because Tom Hanks won an award. It's like gotcha. you take so many years. Sean Connery did, I mean, never Man won Connery, an award way, until he favorite. was almost yeah. his yeah. end of his career. And so now it's like now DiCaprio has one, but why doesn't Willem Dafoe have one? Or why doesn't Gary Oldham right. have one? Gary Oldham doesn't he have one. He does not have he does Okay, not have so an that, Oscar. That, 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 that leads me to my next question. Like, M- Eminem that, has an Oscar. Three Six Mafia, Mafia has an Oscar. Has an yeah. Oscar. Wow. Sylvester Stallone has an Oscar. Matt Suicide Damon Squad has won an Oscar. Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad, Squad won an Oscar. Has, has an Oscar. Well, okay, what are you, okay in, in your opinion, Mike, who is, who is the number one director, actor, actress? Who deserves an Academy Award but does not have one? Christopher yet. Nolan, David Fincher, Christopher Nolan, or David Fincher? How, okay. Wait a minute, David Fincher is not. He didn't. No, he won an award with the uh, with the Social Network. No, no, Social Network got robbed. Well, they no, no they no, they won that the soundtrack. Guy, the guy that Cause, wrote, cause the guy Trent, that wrote yeah. the movie won for. And then uh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Sorkin and won. Aaron Sorkin and won. He, he, Sorkin he, and then Trent Reznor. He, he has Atticus not Ross. won Best Director. David Fincher has Shocking. never won Best That's Director. That's insane. Yep. And then Chris Nolan hasn't either. Nope. You think they're going to win? He's got a chance for uh, Dunkirk? Dunkirk. No. No? no I, I, I think, haven't seen it I think it what yet. happened was is that you had the f- you have five pictures for so many years, and then they switched it to ten. See, there we go. Not going to scout Darren Ofanaski. Yeah, another one. Darren okay, Huskin. so like I, I haven't seen uh, Mother, which is Ar- Arfanaski, right? Darren Aronofsky. Darren Ar- yep. Ar- Aronofsky. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no, if we, wait. If we want to talk about Mother, I, Wait, I'm who? Only... No, Black Swan won Best Picture. What did uh, What director got that year? Please look that up. Wasn't that? I'd wasn't blow Opera, my fucking brains out. Aronofsky didn't do. He Aronofsky, didn't do Black Swan? Dir- Aronofsky directed Black Swan. Yeah. Clint Mansell did the score. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, she. Yeah, they won. Yeah, they won. Yeah, he won for yeah, Black. He won. he won for. I Black mean, like, so Black, yeah. Right? So not gonna discuss this, Darren. Yeah. I, and maybe, maybe he's just commenting because we were talking about directors. Maybe but we, we have to like, double check yeah. and see. But yeah, so Christopher. Well, Christopher Nolan's my favorite director. Um, you saw Dun. You saw Dunkirk. I have not. I, I tried to go see it. I, want, I was going to try to go see it in 70 millimeter, and then it fell through. Maybe we should just IMAX. watch it on my 4K TV because, um, like, I'm getting used to the fact that my 4K well, yeah, TV is going to look better. But Don't like, you uh, fucking laugh? But, but like, I wouldn't saw quick. Guardians of the Galaxy at AMC, and I was like, this looks like garbage. <laughs> it's an HDR, man. <laughs> it's not HDR. That's right. Quint, Quentin Tarantino is another director that I love that will probably never get nominated for a director. Speaking People of. for screenplays, but. Have you guys heard the rumors about his next movie? Which movie is this? Is this movie nine or ten? Nine. He's, do- he's doing two more, right? Man, right. he's supposed to be doing the Manson family murders, except Sharon Tate survives as she's pregnant and goes on a killing spree. Right. Yeah. It's so, an alternate universe where they flip it. Yep. Yeah. All right. The okay. same way that so, Inglorious so basically, Bastard Kill Bill was. plus three. Inglorious Bastards. It, uh, apparently, it was taken from the idea of Kill Bill Three. Okay. Yeah. Which yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd pay for that. I'd, I'd oh yeah, dude. I'd pay for that. But. Jennifer Lawrence is uh, Sharon Tate. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Jennifer Lawrence is Sharon Tate? Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, no, that's my fan that's cast. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's your oh, casting? Thank you. Yeah. That's well, Tarantino, if you're watching this shitty yes. episode of, like, Red Dead Live. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, uh, so who, who's your fan casting for Manson, then? Uh, no, no name actor no one's seen before? No. Or somebody... Uh, um, like the... Uh, Michael Shannon. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That's fucking good. <laughs> yeah. The more I thought about Cat, it, I'm just like... <laughs> Cast too, that movie. Here's he's, my money. He's too tall, but like, no, that guy's fucking weird. As shit, <laughs> yeah. Man. yeah. Oh, speaking of Michael Shannon, so like, my wife is watching. We have to watch Boardwalk Empire. Like, oh, we we're, we're, we've been planning oh, on starting it. 
Yeah, and he's he's fantastic and awful in it. So if not Michael Shannon, what's the guy? Shit, what's his name? He's uh he's in the first Underworld movie. He plays the Lycan. Where uh, Lucian, uh, Lucian Sheen, Martin Sheen. No, it's a Sheen. It's 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 a Sheen. Oh shit, what's his name? I'm bad. But those. anyway, if you, I'm out. Yeah, you know you can see his. Yeah, you can see his face. It's face. Martin Sheen. No, it's, it's not. It's, Martin it's not Martin because Martin's too old. He's, he's no, no, no. He's it's a different Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen, he's super young. He he was the bartender in uh, the space movie with the passengers. He was the bartender in Passengers. Mm. Was that him? Yeah, he's in um, he's in Civil War too because he's just an interviewing. Oh no, he's he, no, yeah, he's like he's he's the Hobbit. What? No, okay, no. then we're thinking yeah, about they, different people. Yeah, we're yeah no, about. Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen. Michael there we Sheen, go. There Lucian. we go. Yep, Michael Sheen. Yeah, he is. He is the bartender yeah. in Passengers. Yeah, yeah, Spe- we'll yeah. yeah. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of passengers. Has AIDS. Yeah. Speaking of okay. passengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, guys. <laughs> about, about playing Freddie Mercury? Sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, like, like I was, I was more excited about uh, Sacha Baron Cohen playing. Uh, Freddie Mercury because I felt like he was more fitting but apparently uh, Rami Malik was he was they someone recorded like when they were doing a live like shooting of it and he was singing singing like they performed yep. it, he, right, they were live rough. like Queen and like th- they were like this is like he looks uncanny like him and I, I didn't think he would because I saw that that shot Entertainment Weekly when I first looked at it I was like oh someone CGI'd a Freddie yeah. Mercury and I looked at it, I was like holy shit like this is yeah, this is as close as you're gonna get. They yeah, kind of yeah. like uh, Val Kilmer with with Jim Morrison. It's like, yeah, it's as close as you're probably gonna get to. I mean, especially like late Jim Morrison. Like he really nailed that. Yeah, he yeah. he still is. He yeah. still is. He still got it. Yeah, he still That's, got that late Jim Morrison look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy was a Batman. He just yeah. had the throat cancer not too long ago. Uh, he oh, still I has it. Yeah, he, he's yeah. he's not fighting it. Yeah, he's no. No, he he's doing the the Christian Scientist routine. Oh no! Yeah, uh, it, oh, no, like it, but, but hey, yeah, it worked out for Steve Jobs. Yeah. So, well, so uh, did he have one too many laser dicks? Here we go. We're back. Good. We're back, baby. Too many <laughs> laser dicks. Yes. Way to bring it back. One around. too many laser dicks, Shane. That's bring all you need. Around, yes. yes. Bring back down the laser dicks. That's how you get a pregnant cow. Laser <laughs> dicks. Laser dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Right in the uterus. If you guys missed earlier in the show, you can watch this again on Twitch <laughs> oh or follow us on Redbeard right, Live. Right I won't be any funnier. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, Freddie Mercury. Sure, I'd, I'd love to watch a Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I mean, like my, my only concern with that movie, and like I'm sure he's going to be amazing in it, is the reason why Sacha Baron Cohen like stepped down was because the rest of the band members of Queen, like they're making the end of the movie or the like last half about them. So apparently, because it's what it's called, Bohemian Rhapsody, right? I don't, know the, the I don't know what the official I think, title I think, is. I think the yeah. working title is it's the, the Bohemian before, Rhapsody. Right? And, like, apparently the, the the objective is is to have him die halfway through and then make the rest of it about how Queen succeeded after him. So oh. so the movie is about... No. So the movie no. is about Queen, no. not Freddie no. Mercury. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. And that's, and that's, and that's why so, Sacha Baron Cohen was like, no, you're not that good without... Well, so then don't Freddie Mercury. So then don't frame it as a Freddie Mercury biopic. It's, it's like not. A it's a, it's like it, it's well, no, because they don't biopic. they don't want you to know that. They want you to go buy tickets because you think it's a Freddie Mercury thing, and you walk out like cheering for Queen and going to buy their albums because they're still well, making music. I, I could see if you do it the right way to where if it gets real dark after he dies, and Brian May and everyone else is like, how do we? continue on how do we go through life sure we have to fight abba like, yes like <laughs> through the years like of- dude, fuck that mama mia <laughs> yeah. song fuck mama mia you know what we're gonna do we're gonna sit we're gonna sit around for about a decade or two and wait for a show called american idol yeah and we're gonna find our next freddie mercury baby yeah Woo! Wa- and they- waterloo my blue dick yeah, no yeah, yeah. fucking way yeah f- i get it i get yeah. it abba backwards is the same forward as it is yeah. backwards. like fuck yeah. you abba that's swedish humor yeah, for like, you that's what, it, that's what this movie's gonna be at the end of it it's gonna be a middle finger to abba like, <laughs> yes that's, that's gonna be the end of it <laughs> 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 adam lambert like, and like, brian mayer adam abba lambert yeah. Yeah. Like, mama mia you yeah. can fuck yourself <laughs> yeah. queen is the best band forever Mamma Mia, yep. the cultural confidant, yep. nostalgic on our past careers. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, go see it. So 20, 2018. There yeah. There it is. Yeah. But that's why that I don't want to go see that movie. It sounds like they're like, like they're like, that's why Sasha Baron Cohen like left. And that dude like will stick around for a movie forever. He like puts his dicks in animals and stuff for the film. How would we get back to that? Did you know, did you know like when he was, when he was making, when he was making like the Borat movie. 
Like when he was uh, making the Barat movie, <laughs> like the FBI was notified yep. about some foreign asshole in a van and they followed him around. Yep. Yeah, because like, at the time he was like um, Andy Kaufman, like he lived the gimmick. So if he was yeah. going to be Borat or if he was going to be the uh, one where he was the dictator. Dude, with, uh, when he brings that when he brings league. that big yeah. prostitute to that pastor's house, I was how I, I had to explore <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, it's so. Good. I was in the theater. I had to leave and go into the hallway and compose myself. <laughs> I got four <laughs> steps back into the theater and I lost my fucking shit again, man. Yeah. It was. I missed so much of that movie because of that skit. It was so good. Yeah. It's still the funniest movie ever made to me. The guy. The guy is like he's so funny. Like, what was that movie he did with like as as the. Uh, the secret agents in like Europe, where like he's like the oh, his it, where his brother's the dictator. Yeah, yeah. It's called the dictator. Yeah, no, 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 not the one. Oh, where the, newer the, one, like the, the newer one. The newer one. Yeah. Like the brothers. Uh, the brothers something. And yeah, like, no, like, it's not the brothers Grimm type uh, thing. It's no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's like eleven brothers. people saw it in theaters. I, I rented it. <laughs> I rented it, and I thought it was yeah. genius. <laughs> eleven, 11 oh, people. Oh man, were you one of them? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I would watch it, man. I'd watch anything he's in. I'm not speaking of eleven people in the movie theater. So one day, Tiff, Chris, and I decided we were going to go see Tusk. Mm. So we go see Tusk, and there's two other people in the movie. There's like five of us. At that point, you have to sit next to them just Tusk. to fuck with their minds. No, yeah, they were like three rows back. So the movie ends, and I, uh, I turned Tiff. I was like, hey, have you ever seen Human Centipede? This kind of reminds me oh, of Oh, God. It. And the people are Daniel's like. Daniel's Brothers Grimsby. There it is. Yeah. Uh, like, like the yeah, Brothers Grimm. Like, okay. Brothers Grimsby. There you, you were there. You were almost there. Was there. No, there you go. So, oh, my, my, my boy Marty. He comes in the, in a clutch. In the clutch with, with beer and answers. Mm. There you go. So the people like eight rows back are like, "You're really sick. You like that movie?" And they like walked up and left. <laughs> it's like, Human Centipede wasn't that bad, but it Wait, reminded me of Human Centipede Two. To pushed it way too far. Human yeah. Centipede Two. Holy shit, Patrick. Human I Centipede Two. No, you don't want to. So I haven't, seen, I haven't, I haven't yeah. been one part so of a Centipede. No, no. At okay, that so point, <laughs> I stopped laughing because I laughed at the first one. When I'm when I'm halfway through Cent Human Centipede Two and I've stopped laughing and this right. is this is now starting and, and and guys you've heard me make like AIDS jokes like all kinds of awful stuff this has perturbed me to a dark level I'm yeah, like you funny. know what yeah, yeah. 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 Human Centipede is the whole is real dark so this is like Cartman watching a movie in the dark and he's like it's like the Alaska pipeline yeah yeah <laughs> yes. So, yes so put yes. it this way so the first movie happens right the second movie the premise is. The guy is a super fan of the first movie. He's a oh, parking right. garage attendant so that watches it all the, the time. The movie is filmed in all black and white. Yeah. And we only get the U.S. version here. The European version is supposed to be even There worse. are colors. So oh, yeah, yeah. you get some yeah, here yeah. and there, but so it, it's mostly black Ooh. and white. So he yeah. lives in a fantasy world of he's so obsessed with the first Human Centipede it's movie. Fucked up. And he's fucking – he's got to be like up. 30 or 40 or so. Like, Shane in the background. He's like, he's he's like so abused. He lives a horrible fucking life, so he decides he's going to make, in the real world, a human centipede. So much to the point where he finds the actress from the first movie. Yeah. Oh, says shit, that I forgot. Yeah. Says, that, he's, says yeah. that he works with Quentin Tarantino. I forgot about this. To get yeah. her to Fuck. come to his location, a warehouse where he's shooting it, and t actually adds the actress from the first movie. Into, into the, the segment, segment. yeah. So, so fucked up, you know, man. much like Patrick just said, I'll watch just about anything, and I like a oh, Serbian yeah. film. Have you seen I, a Serbian film? I, I like original things that are some okay. people. Some people may not watch. You and I watch a lot of the same things. Yeah, yeah. One and done for Human Centipede two. Yeah, yeah that was, one, yeah. one and done. I couldn't watch it. That, so it was like a three a.m. thing. I was just so, like, why yeah. am I watching this? My, my daughter, it was bad. It was bad. My, my daughter, she's sixteen. She loves horror movies the same way as I do, and she loves to see original things. We watch a lot of things together, right? I wouldn't even consider this horror, though, man. It's just it's like, just, it's it's just like it's a snuff of, film. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of. Well, the same way that people called hostile torture porn, yeah. this Human Set MP2 would way take worse. to way a different worse, level. Yeah, yeah when, so, when, when you get through a kinky movie like that and you have to take the belt off your neck and undo the handcuffs and you're not having fun, you know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here. So there's. there's like, <laughs> like, I'm just done. So like, my heart's not in it. There's a part of Human Set MP2. Where he masturbates <laughs> with barbed wire. Yeah, like, yeah. This is how fucking and dark not not in the good way. So so my daughter, I, not I in told the good her. Way. So I've told her about about my level of movies. We we, we rate things of like what what is the level if you don't want to watch more than once or shit that's just too much even for me. Yeah. I was like Human Centipede Two. Charlotte's is Web. Too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> so Human Centipede Two is on Hulu Plus if you want to watch it. If Why? you want to. Why is it on that? So. She has access to my Hulu account, so I, I turned it on one day. 
and I see human centipede too. There's no way exactly. Like, Kim's is there a good way? Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, what's so, great is what's great is Patrick's creating a dialogue. Yes. So we're we're ha- I see she's watched halfway through Human Centipede two. <laughs> so I send her a text and I was like, uh, I was like, so that was you watching Human Centipede two, right? And she texts me back. She's like, Oh my god, Dad, you were right. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. I had to shut it off halfway through the movie. Right. I don't oh even god. want to know what. And she's like. When they were beating out the, the teeth with the hammers, oh god, it no. stitched yeah. me up. She's like, she's like, I couldn't take Ugh. it anymore. I was like, I told you. Yeah. That's how fucked up that movie is. Because they made watched, a third one. Do you know that? So the third the one. The one in prison, right? I, so haven't, here, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. Here's the third it, one. I just, imagine, I just even, imagine it's like a real life version of Snake. So here, right? you're like, here's how the third yeah. one goes. So the first one. It wasn't a band here, though? Or something? No, it, you can, it's, on, uh, it's on Netflix. Or it was for a while. But really? anyway, so the first movie is an original idea, yeah. right? Whether you like it or don't like it, it's an original idea. Yep. The second movie, also, also original. an original idea yep. that takes it to a real dark place. Yep. The third movie, they bring back the actor from the For the record, movie. when he says dark place, he means darker than stapling a mouth to an ass to a mouth to an ass. <laughs> right. Because you, only see, you only see that three times in the yeah, first movie yeah, yeah. for just a little bit. Like, the grossest part of the first movie is when he's yelling, Fear! Yeah. 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 She's, like, shitting into his... He's shitting into her mouth. That's so- that's pretty dark. When you go to the, <laughs> we have so I've never even look seen at, the look any on, of these. The look on Chris's face is, is oh brilliant. So the, the third movie is you have so the doctor from the first movie that that's dead from the first movie. He plays a Texas sheriff, right? Oh, so geez. kind of like that guy that's in Arizona, the one that had the, the tent. Judge Aripo. He plays like that, right? Yeah. But he has his thick German accent. He's trying to be. Texan. He's trying to have a southern accent. I'm picturing then Baron have, Underbite. Uh, then you have the guy from the second movie. The, the killer from the second movie is his assistant helper in the third movie. So the third movie went from one or two original ideas. The third movie is so far ridiculous and stupid. Again, more ridiculous than stapling a mouth to an <laughs> right. ass to a mouth to an ass. Because when you get to the third one, it's all it's all daylight. It's all yeah. it's shot outside and shot in real bright rooms. So they're trying to be over the top ridiculous gross to where yeah. it's like this is just stupid it's like okay yeah you smash this guy's testicles with a spoon mm. and we see a close up shot of it but it's like you're trying to be so over the top with you're it like, yeah. that it's, it's not even gross real. it's like this yeah. is just this yeah. is just stupid yeah you know he he's on his desk and he's got his legs up in the air with the cowboy boots and he's just like yeah yeah and he's got his hat on and then the, then the secretary gets up and she was like oh you taste so good today and like he's getting Daddy's a blowjob out. that's how oh. the movie so it's it's like it's like it's like, like, like the sharknado of ass mouth yeah. it is it is yeah. the sharknado it's the sharknado of human centipede. <laughs> that should just be the front of like no, centipede three I, it's like it's I want of ass no 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 I want a business card that says the sharknado of ass <laughs> mouth <laughs> that is my fucking job <laughs> title like, like yeah. Patrick Burr oh, he's like God. the sharknado of ass mouth. That's a little t-shirt right there. Yeah, but anyway, you don't have to watch Human Centipede. No, I I trust me, I don't bother. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna watch any one of them because, don't like, I, like, you know, I got bother. better things to do. Yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Shows I on Netflix. I, I haven't like, caught I like up hated with myself after watching. I'm like, why did I sit through this? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I, you know what, man? Like, well, the there's first, so the many times when I'm trying to wind down. I don't like watching negative yeah. stuff either. Like, I like watching. Oh man, I'm all about the dark. I mean, negative and dark, I can get, but like, just. For no reason. No, it's it's know, weird it's, for the sake of weird. Yeah, it's exactly. not yeah. being organic. But it's not, it's not being yeah. like uh, like ironic or intelligent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like yeah, Hostel, yeah. The Hills of Eyes, all those kind of weird over the top movies are fine. I have no problem with that. I can yeah. I can digest that. But like, Human Centipede One, like way over the top. Two is just like why the f- I just want to go you know pop out my eyes with spoons. For yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, like, two pointless. is two is to the point where it's like oh man. He he if he his mission was to make a movie that was really. Really uncomfortable to watch. Like he did a good job. Really yeah. uncomfortable yeah. to watch. Like crying game. He did a good job. Like I don't you, like. You, you watch, you watch some so of the other movies, like like Old Boy, where he's like scooping the eye out with the spoon and stuff. Oh, like yeah. I can deal with that. Though. And you're like, wow, like that was hard to deal. Old with. Old Boy did that then. awful stuff in a wonderful narrative, though. Yeah. yeah. You know? Right. But yeah. a lot of people were grossed yeah. out by that. Yeah. And then when you saw Hostel, people are immediately like, well, this is torture porn. Well, it's not. There's a story that goes to it. But yeah. yes, there's people that get tortured yes. along the way. But it's kind of like when the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out, right? In 1973, yeah, that shit was fucking horrible and awful. Yeah. And then you hear about it all the time. Like, this movie's so bad. It's so gross. It's so gross. And you watch the original one, and you're like, it's not that bad. It's really not well, as bad as people make it out to be. So that's why I had to watch Human Centipede, because people were like, oh, Human bad, Centipede yeah, is yeah. so gross. It's like, and that actually it's fits. Not, yeah, there's a, well, there's a now, time and a place, for now, sure. Now, let's hold on to that Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing, because I've recently rewatched this, uh, the original original, um, a few weeks ago, and then again a few days ago. And the thing about the the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, this was a fuck you to Washington, D.C. We're talking about a time when Nixon was president. 
we're talking about a movie that takes place in the South, um, you know, deep red country. We're talking about a big white stately mansion that's filled with rot and evil and murderers and that kind of thing. And this was very much a political commentary long before horror was used in that fashion. It, it was like the George Romero type of thing. Yes. To where yep. all George Romero zombie movies, when you strip it down to the core, it's it's a political message yes. once you get past Consumerism, yeah, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Right, yes. Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Same like Thing. Purge is nothing but like... Oh, man, yeah, I, I mean, love like, those like, movies. Yeah, the yeah. Pur- Purge is like in your way face, more yeah. straight. Yeah, yeah, it's way more straightforward about what it's trying to be. I do have a serious question, though. So, back to Human Centipede, not to go backwards too far, but which would you prefer to be, the front, the middle, or the end? Oh, the front, for <laughs> sure. The front. <laughs> I'll, I'll poop on people all the only, time. There's the only doctor? One, there's only one spot. The Option C. Yeah. yeah if you're, if you're going to be in the Human Centipede, the first one is the optimal place. But the, the other the two, middle, if they die, then, like, you're dragging the, dead carcasses the around with by your ass. But, but you're eating actual food, <laughs> that's right? True, that's true. And then <laughs> you're shit. feeding... The other two. This conversation <laughs> sucks so, it's like, so much. It only sucks if you're the second or the third person. The yeah. Centipede. And then yeah. we watch Human Centipede 2, and they break off into two separate ones, and they're moaning and screaming. Yeah, it, it's what real if, bad. Okay, okay, real question, though. Real it's talk, real, real talk. Let's go, back, let's, go back to the, let's go back to the topic of the show. <laughs> yeah, wait before, on the before, James before Cameron is making the, is What if James the Cameron's centipede? rebooting the Centipede? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> like, that would be the most... With avatars? That, with Stop. The avatars, yeah. Stop. Stop. Stop right Right now, I need to know something. What color is Avatar Poo? <laughs> what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> They're blue. I mean, would that be like a well, a phosphorescent stuff. orange? No, it's <laughs> gotta be. It's there. gotta be. It's well, gotta it's be complementary colors. No, right? it's gotta be normal. Like because like animals are blue and animals are different colors and their poo is always brown. Yeah, that's true. It depends on the protein level of I, that planet. I don't know enough about it colorful. On the I, think, I bet. I bet it would be super brown. I like don't. Now, now we've devolved into poop talk. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks a lot. Like, well, thanks yeah. for like Hanson Patrick on the you, show, human ladies and gentlemen. Like, human centipede led to. to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, poop yeah. talk. Hey, it's more explanation. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so well, ladies there, and gentlemen, I think that's a good time to wrap up our show. Oh We're done. We're God. like we've we've Still we've talking. we've put a, we've put a. There's, it's poop talk now, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, we really need to have Tiff on the show too, next too week or something. Ask, ask him out. It's just too much, Mike. You went down <laughs> this path. You I were did. like, like it's I, okay. I opened up the human centipede path. It, it it's okay, Mike. As, like, as, long as, as long as you're. You, in you, you opened up Pandora's butthole. That's the planet of Avatar. It was like we were in hell. It's like we were in Hellraiser and we played with the box too long and we opened it up. And yeah. We opened up a whole world to. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to change the name of Redbeard Live, Live to just like, we're going to talk about some fucked up yeah. movies. Oh, Join us up. next week. Make sure you guys oh, follow we, us we on Red. Like, make stuff. sure you guys subscribe to us. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on all the social medias. This was a ridiculous episode, but, but all of our episodes I, I, are. On a positive we love you guys. note before we leave. Positive note before we leave. Episode 8, runtime rumor, two and a half hours. Sold. The longest so, of the Star Wars movies. Longest of the Star Wars movies. We'll talk about that next week. Thanks for having me on, guys. We love you. Too we much, love you, Handsome Patrick. Make sure you guys talk. follow us. And uh, again, we sorry, we're sorry about the poop talk, but we're not sorry. No, we're not sorry. We love you. The we're most not. people were watching when we were talking about human centipede. All the poop.